Jeremy Nagel here from Nuanced IT, answering a question from Kevin in the Zoho forums. Kevin wants to know if it's possible to delete multiple records in Zoho CRM. Essentially, what I'm guessing is that he's got a custom module in his CRM that indicates data that has a temporary lifespan. One use case might be if he's got a requirement to fill out an NDA and after the NDA is filled out then he wouldn't need to keep that original requirement anymore. I don't know that I'm a big fan of what Kevin's actually trying to do. I, I'm generally not in favour of deleting anything from the CRM but I'm going to try and answer the question anyway. What I'd rather do is rather than deleting to simply set a flag on the records to indicate that they're no longer active. There might be a status drop down. That would be if they're no longer active, then just change it to inactive and they wouldn't appear in the custom views after that. But having said all that, let's give it a go. So we need to have two custom modules. I've got one here. I'm going to modify it so that it has a link to a second custom module. Let's go into it here. So I've got custom module one. I'm pretty sure I've got custom module two as well. Let's see. Yep. So I've got this one here as custom module 2 agreement recipient what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a lookup I'm not sure that this is exactly what Kevin meant but I'll have a go at it anyway so we wanted agreement recipients okay so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll create an agreement recipient and then in HC82s I'm going to link it to the other one. You can't actually have related records with a custom module. All you can do is have a lookup so hopefully this is what Kevin meant. So what we'll do is on some trigger we will delete the HC82 module and we will also delete the agreement recipient module. As mentioned you can't really have any further related records because it doesn't really work that way. The only related records that exist are the ones, things like notes and attachments which would automatically get deleted when the record was deleted and you could have open activity so we might consider that use case as well. But let's start with this one. What we'll do, we'll create a new workflow I'm just going to put it in leads. <clears throat> and let's say when a lead is deleted, we'll delete the corresponding HC82 as well. We'll trigger a custom function. So we'll get the lead ID. And we'll get the lead record. Then we'll get the HC82 ID. 
that we need to actually put that field into the leads module. Okay, so basically what we're saying is that when a lead that has an HC82 is deleted, then we should delete the HC82, and we should also delete the corresponding uh, agreement recipient. So we've got the lead, and then one related custom module, and another related custom module. So we'll get the HC82 ID from the lead. Then we'll get the HC82 record. Though we probably don't even need that. Because from my understanding, we don't actually really need anything much more than this. What we'll do... this in so we'll do HC82 it's got ID And then we'll info the result. We also want to delete something else as well. We'll figure out the corresponding re agreement recipient record. module one is the module for this one and then what we'll want is the agreement recipient let's see what was the field name for that So what we'll do, delete agreement like equals, just copy these, and put something slightly different there, so we can delete the other one. do the same thing. Okay. And I need to get a proper auth token.
Now we'll test it. Get our lead. So we're getting an error. I have a feeling it may be to do with the capitalization. It worked fine. So it looks like the issue was simply that in this code here, rather than it being custom module one or lowercase, it needed to be capital C, capital M. Let's just verify that. If we go to this lead, we'd expect the SDFHC82 to no longer exist. And we'd also expect the agreement recipient to not exist. And indeed, it has been deleted. This one didn't get deleted though, but I think that essentially demonstrates the point. Oh, because I did the wrong module, this should have been custom module 2. But you can see the, the point here that you just need to make sure you have the correct module name and then it should be all good.